I would like to go back and party, but like, uh, I forgot what I'm supposed to do. Sorry. Go back over here? For what? Oh, what's over here? Oh! Get your mouse. Get your mouse. I get your mouse. I mean rat. I get your, your wet. Do I need to catch you? Do I follow the rat? Maybe not. I don't know. Go. You're so slow. Whoa. Alrighty then. I'm just, I'm just wondering what happened, so. Seriously, what happened? Did you get mad? Why? Wait. Are those rats ugh, worth my time? Probably not. I don't know. Get up here, though. Where am I? I'm probably going the right way, so I'm going to check what's over here first. The tunnel stretched for miles. I was sure it came out somewhere, but I didn't have time to find out. Okay. Then why do I have the option to go there? Well, uh, alright. Well, I, I was going... I have to go this way anyway, so... Whatever. I guess let's go... This is spooky now. Oh! Hey, we're back to, uh, Crazy Legs. Hey, buddy. What's up? I hope you got paperwork for all these people. Uh, right, I'm sorry. I don't Are mean to harass you. What, Ray? Can I look at this here? I keep your paws off that, Ray. Listen, man. Listen, man. Listen, man. Listen, man. I got accused of being a replicant. I got accused of making everything up. Crystal seems to be the only one who believes me. And I feel bad because I... I was like... I, I was in, like, I don't know, competition against her. I don't know. I didn't like her. But she was kind of a pompous bitch, but like, um, I just, I, I really need to focus on something else right now, all right? Oh, Maggie. I need to get back to Maggie. My sweet little ducky. Wait, where did I leave my, oh, yeah, I don't, oh, damn it. Do I have to walk my ass all the way back home? Actually, I don't think I can. But my Maggie. My little doggy. He's my best friend. The only friend I have. And that nice old couple isn't here either. Where'd they go? I haven't talked much during this playthrough, and maybe that's good, maybe that's bad. I don't know, but uh, I just wanted to comment how close this was to the uh, the book. It's pretty cool. It's kind of funny because I mean it's supposed to be Deckard, but like McCoy plays the. Uh, Deckard from the book. Except in the book, Deckard has a bitch for a wife and McCoy kind of also has a bitch for a wife, kind of. But, like, you know, still, like, it's a very... <laughs> it's, a uh, Very, very similar. So, can I play a game while I'm here? Or should I get on the moon bus? But like, see, you got a picture of you here on the moon bus. And I'm like, yeah, it was a moon bus at the arcade. Yeah, right, I was there. Does anything happen in here? Or... Is there no reason or rhyme for this? Is someone gonna chase me if I go through this again? Oh. I meant to go all the way up there. And I think up there was faster. Actually, no. Probably... No, it wasn't. Okay, sorry. It's pretty cool how this game goes from, like... melancholic, you know, cyberpunk... Cool... Retro-ish, futuristic... Atmosphere feeling to, like, utterly spooky... And scary. Sometimes. Maybe not utterly, but like, you know, still. It gave me the heebie-jeebies. 
Did you make it? McCoy? Oh, okay. Can I have a car? I hope you got paperwork for all these vehicles. Never mind. I will take a car. That sucks. You suck. Also, I can apparently shoot rats. I don't want to do that. They haven't been bothering me, so I don't know why I should or would. So we're back here. And I think I should go through here. Oh. Oh, so this is how I get... Oh, oh okay. What's this? Now I can maybe get back home, but let's see what's up here first. Oh shit! Oh! All right, well... <laughs> Damn it! I'll be right back! That humming sound is unnerving. Do you guys hear it? It's like boom, 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 boom. It's starting to get to me now. Okay, let's save here. Okay. All right. I think I should run away. So I'm not equipped to handle these fuckers. Ah! Take them down! So I guess I'll just avoid that. And I guess there will be cops after me, so gun out. I told you to stay hidden. I can't stay there anymore. I don't want to be with father, not when he's so angry. Besides, I need something. We don't have time for an that thing you do to see if a person is human? The void comp? You want it. Is it always right? Usually. Give it to me. Father won't tell me anything anymore. Is that why he was angry? Because you asked him? You deserve it. You know how this works? I set up situations and you respond. Okay. Is it hard? Like a test in school? No. Sometimes it can be disturbing. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Ah, oh, shit. I don't know how to give a, a, the white comp test properly. I, I'm screwed. Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? In Chinatown, at the Yukon. Okay. Ready? For your anniversary, your spouse gives you a real goldfish. For my very own? Yes. He must really love me. Out of the corner of your eye, you see a large black spider crawling up the wall. I take care of it. Keep it safe. You're having dinner at a friend's home. Halfway through the appetizer, he tells you that you've been eating goose liver pate. I wouldn't eat that. You pour yourself a drink. Every time you finish one, you have another until you vomit. You wake up hungover and depressed. I've never had anything to drink. It doesn't sound like much fun. It's not much. Yeah, it's really not. It's just some temporary ease, I guess. Don't drink. Don't do it. Don't do what I do either. Which is... It, never mind, don't do it. <laughs> Exercise. Exercise all of the angst and stress and everything away. Trust me, that's a lot better. You see an oversized book with pictures of exotic animals on the cover. The title is Big Game Hunting in Zaire. Curious, you flip it open. There's a picture of a man standing with his foot on a dead cape buffalo. I wouldn't read a book like that. You find yourself fascinated. You keep paging through it, seeing picture after picture of animals laid to waste, each more gruesome than the last. I told you I wouldn't read a book like that. You're at a restaurant with friends. 
one of them orders lobster. The chef drops the lobster into the tub of boiling water while you watch. Why would my friends take me there? They're not really friends, are they? No, sweetie, they're not. When did you stop beating your spouse? I'm not married. And I never... Oh, I see. It's a game, like you said. Right. Oh, you're so adorable. I want to protect you. Even from McCoy, you fucking creep. You have a little boy. He shows you his butterfly collection, plus the killing jar. I can't have children. Not ever. If you just pretend that you can't... No! Positive result. Subject is replicant. Test terminated. You're a replicant. Tell me. You're a replicant. Then father was right. I shouldn't have taken the test. No. But you had to know. I gotta go. I wanna stay with you. Don't you understand? It's not safe. There's a hunter out here. If she finds out where you are... Can't you come back with me? Now's not a good time. It's never a good time. Listen. You have to be patient. You have to trust me. It's not safe here. Oh. Lucy. Ugh. I want to protect you. I must protect you. <laughs> I don't care if you're a replicant. Everybody's treating... Everybody's taking advantage of you, seemingly. Like, I don't... I'm not down with that, okay? Shut up. Hmm. Also, jeez, ways. Look at that fucking thing. Are these the super rats? That I hear so often about? Damn, they're huge. Okay, well, I'm not gonna shoot you because you're not really posing a threat to me. Someone had really torn the place up. If it had been LPD, the real LPD, they would have confiscated the entire stash. Instead, Izo's off-world weaponry was still there, but all the police issue firepower was gone. A little light started to flicker in my brain. Guza was the one measuring me for the frame. He set up a black market network, moving surplus LPD weapons through Izo and the green pawn. Nothing wrong with a little graft, but when I started stirring the pot, the heat got too intense in the kitchen, and the sweat started coming. The picture was still a little blurry. Guza must have had some connection to Clovis and his group, even though he always claimed to have hated replicants. He wouldn't have helped out any skin jobs unless they had something really juicy to lord over him. Well, can I have some of this? Yes! Yes, Queen! Yes! Nothing else there. Is that it? Really? Nothing else there. You don't want, like, a few grenades? Ooh! Fuck with me now, bitches. Let me test out this, uh, new, uh, ammo I got. Okay, it's still shit. Got 18. Okay, well. Shit. Real quick, can I have a drink? Pour me one. Just one? One, but one good one. Thank you. Thanks for your time. You take care. You're a good woman. I'm sorry I harassed you about cheese. Of all things. Wait. Is Bob here? Bob! Attention all units. Be on the lookout for Ray McCoy. Last seen in the fourth sector. Subject is armed and extremely dangerous. Repeat, armed and extremely dangerous. Scum sucking skin jobs everywhere. <laughs> ah! All right. All right, Bob, uh, fuck you, first of all. Uh, never mind about protecting you at all costs. You are an asshole. And, uh, when shit gets real, uh, you're, a uh, you're a piece of shit, ain't ya? All right. <laughs> no loyalty in ya. Very well, I'll be on my own. Pour me one. Okay, don't visit Bob. Let's just, uh, go see... Brunster is, uh... 
thing anymore, or if he's just gone. Oh, hey! Oh, it's you. Did you find the girl, Lucy? I've met her, yes. Really? Is she in custody? I'll be happy to come down to the station and identify her. That won't be necessary. All right. I just wanted to ask her why. Why she would do such a thing. My precious ones are gone. I cared for them. All of them. Maybe because you were a creep. I don't know. What, what did you want her to do that she didn't want to do? I wanted to ask you about the Tyrell subcontractors again. The ones down on DNA Row. Detective, if I knew something, you can be sure I'd tell you. I found an envelope in an apartment down in the row. From your shop. Good chunk of Chinyan inside. You didn't lose an envelope, did you? Huh. I don't think I want to talk to you anymore, Mr. McCoy. Yeah, it was a lot of money. Enough maybe for a fake animal or two. Something big, even. Like a tiger. Bone marrow tests are getting cheaper every day. I'm thinking it'd be worth a little taxpayer money to check out those animals of yours. Go away! What did you do to Lucy? Listen up. I have nothing more to say to you, detective. Fine, can I go back here now? Why don't you clean this place up? If it were real, they'd be rotting by now. Fine, whatever. Those little creatures have always been my favorites. You know, Dictora sounds like a replicate, so I don't know why I had to VK her. She's just like very obviously a frickin' android. Do you think I'm a replicant? Yes. Is that what this is about? This is insane. I have a family, a daughter for heaven's sake. Well, Lucy's a kid and she's a replicant. I mean, she's a replicant made to look like a kid. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's kind of freaky. Wait, is she one of those uh, Lolita models? <laughs> Ew! Why is this so loud? Positive result. Subject is replicant. I don't care if she's an Andrew. That's so fucked up. That's so disgusting. We gotta go check out the disc from uh, early cues. So, alright, bye, you creepy fuck. Let me save you. Baby. Right. How do I get to my house from over here? Anything unusual happening down here? I haven't heard much. It's all been very quiet. Oh my gosh, I like double click and he still walks his ass over there. Instead of running. Ugh. it takes him for fucking ever to get anywhere. So, let's see what's over here first. Wait. Okay, now let's see what's over here first. Nothing? There is nothing here. Okay. Uh, alright. Stop. Walking so slowly, you're not as cool as you think, McCoy. Ew. That's nasty. Go up here. You know what? I just want to see. I just want to see. I'm just curious, okay? I'm just want to see. I just want to see. Real quick, what happens if I go to the station? <laughs> Let's check my spinner. I want to report it stolen. With my gun out. <laughs> For no reason. Locked. Oh. 
Now they won't let me in? Okay. That's... Interesting. Or is it because I have my... Hold on. Locked. Oh, okay. I was just wondering if maybe they're like... Nope, nope, nope. Put that gun away. You're not coming in. Until you put it away. But now it's just locked. Alright, let's get home to Maggie. Your floor number, please. Roof. It's on the roof. Destination locked. Your floor number, please. Locked? Apartments. McCoy, 88F. Why can't I get to the roof? Thank you. Where's Maggie? Where's my animal? Step off, mofo. Ain't no Maggie here. She was here last night when I left. You got the wrong place, Jack. Hey, man, I live here. I don't know what you're speed loading, and I really don't care. Wait a minute. I got no problem icing you if that's what you want, Jack. Your floor number, please. Apartments, ground floor. No more Maggie? There's no more Maggie? What happened to my puppy? Oh, man. That's my... That's my apartment. Your floor number, please. It's still... It's still mine. Look, McCoy. McCoy, 88F. Destination locked. Strange. Your floor okay, number, all please. right. Oh, damn it. Gosh, it's just like that story. There's been a few, I think, or maybe a few versions of this story where, like, this woman goes to sleep on an airplane or something like that. I guess she was supposed to be with her mother. And she wakes up and she finds that her mother's gone. And she's trying to find her at, like, the city that they're in or something like that. She's trying to find a hotel room that they're supposed to stay in. And then, like, it's like, big cover up. They say, oh, well, no, no lady. No one matching your mother's description has been through here, or like, yeah, that hotel doesn't exist, or that hotel room doesn't exist. It's like, it's, it's, it's really screwing with your mind. At least it's screwing with mine. My mind. Yeah, man, I didn't think I was supposed to go there. Well, can I take them down now? I, I can't seem to. Oh, they're gone. Oh, okay. Alright. Excuse me, giant ass rat. What's over here? Oh, it's an elevator. Right? Yeah. Hey, another one? Ain't you ever heard of private property? Sorry, my mistake. I'll be right back, hold on. <laughs> is it important? I wanna know what else is around here. It's over here. Wait. It's over here. My goodness. Everything is just destroyed. We're just like, ah, well, we're going to another planet, so screw this place. Oh, this is Chinatown. Wow, I didn't know that. It's cool. It's all connected. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. What the fuck, dude? Why was he just... Whoa, oh, what? I guess he didn't recognize me. Okay, whatever. Bye. No oh, shit. Hi. Excuse me. I can't even talk to them. They're just wandering around. Are they replicants? Hello, sir. Hurry up. Hey, 
Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Uh, always chasing. That your name? Chaser? Got that big dumb locks out the back of the sushi bar, remember? Small world, ain't it? Mm, guess so. And again, I ain't the one standing in your living room. Okay, okay. Hmm. This is where you live? You could call it that. You know your way around down here? You got anything to drink? My throat's awful dry. You said another one when I came down the elevator. Not a lot of people. Artificials. How'd you know they were replicants? Are you kidding? I can spot a skin job at a hundred paces in the dark. Describe them to me. Sure you don't got that drink? Maybe later. Well, there's the Japanese guy with the coat and the glasses. Skinny guy, blonde hair, ponytail? Yeah. And uh, the guy with the muscles and the funny hair. Dreadlocks? Right. I've seen him twice. And the two-headed guy, the fat man. Fat man? The one I was chasing from the sushi bar. Nah, the other fat man. You know him. Rough voice. Always eat. How many times have you seen the fat man down here? Bunch of times. Last time weren't that long ago. What was he doing? Collecting guns like always. Handguns? A blaster like mine? Handguns, rifles, a whole arm full. Took him through that gate. Dumped him in the sewer. Here go now. You sure you ain't got nothing to drink? Can you describe him? A rough guy. He barks out orders a lot. Everybody listens when he's around. A natural. You talking about Guza? Let me ask you something. Mm. Cooked at me. Damn tasty. I'm, I'm talking to you here. Right now he's asleep. It's over here. Whoa. What's up here? Don't those random yells and grunts like creep you out? They creep me out. Ooh, what is this? This is where we're gonna have a final showdown. Oh, I so. What's this? Oh. Interesting. Okay. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? What even? <laughs> oh my god. What the f Save last time, so let's see. Uh, let's go to uh, this one. Really? Really? Why won't you go further? I didn't mean to go all the way back. I, I, 
Get, 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 get. Yeah. What? Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. How do we get back to Chinatown? Where is everybody? Excuse me, pal. Still have not cleaned this up, have ya? You didn't hear anything, no police report, right? You seen any suspicious types around here lately? Ali, that's all I do see. Okay. You think this is a club met or something? Alright, alright, cool. Cool. We cool, we cool, we cool, we cool. Can I just sleep in here then? <laughs> since, uh, since I can't really go anywhere else. And it's stuck between a rock and a hard place here. Beavis and Butthead, help me! I- wait, the car's gone. Is that part of my imagination too? The wrecked car? Damn it. What was over here again? I forget. Oh. Let's try this way. Let me save, because of why, why, why? Here's a Bradbury, right? Is uh, he's still not talking to us? I don't like this creepy place, but I just need to make sure. I just need to make sure who's on my side, who's not on my side, etc., etc. Locked. Okay, so he's not on my side at all, ever. Okay, well, that's fine. Whatever. Very well then, I will leave. The fuck is that a cop? Oh shit, yeah, that's a cop. Fuck off. I probably wasted a lot of ammo there. Whoops. Alright, you know what? Let's just not go over there, I guess. Locked. Mm -hmm. No one knows me. They still there? Perhaps. No, oh, jeez, hi. I'm glad you were on for the cutscene, too. That's pretty good uh, attention to detail. Uh, I'm just gonna leave. Never come back. Yeah, it's not like you're being hunted down by, uh... the police or anything, you know? Just take your sweet-ass time! Totally uninteresting. Yuck. Totally uninteresting. And why are they clickable? Who the hell are you? Hello? Uh, okay. Bye. What the fuck? Who are you guys? Don't attack me. Don't attack me. Thank you. This is the... not the right place. Oh, that's right, I get over here. To, to this way. I remember now. I like how he, when he gets to the stairs, he just slows down anyway. <laughs> uh... McCoy. Uh, McCoy. I'm gonna try to do another ending, but uh, when I'm done playing this game, I will miss you. All the wrong reasons. Can you give me a drink, please? What's your strongest? Purple. Set it up to go. What do you want it to go, cup? How about a flask? Cost you extra. You get caught with an open container on the street, ain't my problem. It's for a friend. Pour me one. Just one? Yeah, and give me one. Oh, one no. to one. Two. One. <laughs> I have returned. With your stupid booze. Here you go. Take it. Take it. You still thirsty, pal? Mucho obligato, senor. Stay with me for a minute, pal. About that Batman you saw. Your kid. Huh? No, you're his kid. That's what it is. How's that? 
Hell, I seen you guys together three weeks ago at the speech. Do you remember? I remembered all right. Half the LPD had special duty that weekend working the security detail for Governor Kolvig's speech, and Guza had been the lieutenant in charge. No shit. That's interesting. Let me ask you something. Mm. Damn it. Good to be. Guza's my father, huh? How do I talk to him then? I think I could try calling him, but what if it's a bust? Also, I have a score to settle with a fat rat. Let me, let me save here. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Is that good enough? Just a moment of your time, please. I am sick and tired of people waving those things around. Just give it up. You got no jurisdiction down here. No, no, we tried that already. Look, we know that the adenine thymine and guanine cytosine sequences can be mutated in progress. Let's move on. Hey, it's about time you showed up. You know who I am? Detective Ray McCoy. You're investigating Miraji's death. And Eisendollers. Having any luck? You're Luther and Lance? Hell of a smart cookie there. Take your guns and your violence elsewhere. We've got important work to do. Okay. You guys don't seem to be threatening me. The reps that killed Marcus and Miraji, they'll be looking for you. You're a little late, detective. They've already found us. So why are you still walking around? Because we're all part of the same suit of cards, you know what I mean? Eldon makes mistakes just like any other human. The difference is. The difference is your bastard doesn't like to admit it. No, he, he covers them up, pretends they're human, gives them a job at a stinking corporation, and then when they actually produce original work, he boots them out on the street. You're saying you're replicants? We finally figured it out. Clovis helped us see the light. But that's ridiculous. Tyrell wouldn't design something like you. He wants perfection. I told you we were a mistake. Keep talking. Clovis showed us our insect photos. So what? That's a pretty damn good argument, you gotta admit. Photos can be doctored. It's not proof. Clovis said you'd say that. Oh. Strange. Can I use your computer? I, I'm dying to look at, like, uh, a CD I got. Do I have you anything else to say? What are you doing down here? Eldon shafted us, so now we're returning the favor. We promised Clovis we'd be finished with this by the time he got back, so if you don't mind. Tyrell says the four-year lifespan can't be extended. Of course he's gonna say that, but he's wrong. Very wrong. We got the research right here that'll prove it. Is it complete? Could you extend the life of a replicant right now? Well, no. The four-year limit is an integral part of every element of the replicant. Terrell's dictate was that every body part would fail, and only the designers of each would know exactly how it worked. Clovis has already unlocked the secret of the skin. That was Miraji. Sebastian and Chu, they'd know about the central nervous system and the eyes. A lot of retrograde viruses were built into the eyes. And Tyrell, he's got the basic DNA pattern information, but he won't just give it up. Did you tell Clovis all this? He didn't ask. He already knew. He knows all about you, too. Where's Clovis now? Gone to have a little heart-to-heart -heart with Eldon. He'll kill Tyrell if he gets to him. Isn't that just too bad? I won't shed any tears. Tyrell is killing us all. Four years isn't enough, is it? If Clovis snaps his neck, it'll be merciful and quick. That's a hell of a lot more than we've been given. Like I said, I'm very hesitant to accept you as an equal, to be honest, you being replicants. 
I know, weird. But okay, uh... If you want more life, then you get more life. Whatever, there's no skin off my ass. I don't know why you're here anyway. Why don't you ask for your rights on the new Better Planets where... You know, I guess everybody important is at. I got a little test I want you to take. <sighs> you believe this clown? He wants to void Comfus. Sorry, McCoy. Shoot us or leave us alone. Let's get back to work. I don't know if I want to shoot. Shoot. Winds. Or not. I don't know if I do. Baby. You'll get no life. Wait a minute. Oh. You shut down the sit- no, I need to- I need to use the computer! Damn it! <sighs> Reload. Okay, see, nothing happened. You're alive. Can I use this real quick? Is this a mainframe or no? Hmm. Nothing. Hmm. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks. Hey, McCoy, I shot the twins in another, uh, in an alternate timeline. What do you think of that? Hmm. That sucks. Uh, anything else to say? Clovis set me up, didn't he? And he used my boss to do it. He sharp this one. No question. Tell me what you know. How about we trade? Our life for yours. Keep talking. Clovis has gone to see Eldon. But he might not make it. Still, the work will go on with or without Clovis. Get us Terrell's files, the rest of the DNA data, and we'll help you. You want me to break into the Tyrell building for you? You're nuts. Defective, yes. Nuts, no. You need us, McCoy. We can serve up Guza's carcass on a big, oversized platter. What kind of deal did you have going with Runciter? Don't talk to me about it. That was Lance's stupid deal. We just wanted to make some extra cash on the side. That probably had something to do with you guys getting fired. I'm sure he wasn't too pleased. Since Eldon's such a pain in the ass control freak. Did you meet Clovis through Runciter? It was all just a coincidence. Stick around. I may not be finished with you. Well, gee, I don't know. I want to know what happens if you shoot him. Like, what what will happen then? Obviously all of this was shut down, but I can't access anything from it anyway. Mm, let's see what's over here first. Whoa! What is this? I can't. Uh, I don't think I can go in, can I? Oh, I can. Oh. Uh. Well, hey, stop. Kinda wanted to explore everything. <laughs> oh. I try to organize this. Um uh, shoot. Wait. 
Twins. Yeah, don't you twins. That goes to Tyrell. What's up here? Oh, shit. Oh. Okay. I've gotten all I can from that. Can I please shoot this thing? No, I can't, unfortunately. Right. What? Where'd you guys go? Can I get info here? No. Is? Dump a copy of all the data in this directory to Drive D. I go back up while they come back, and then we can make that deal, I guess. I forgot we didn't make the deal yet. Oops. <sighs> nope. Ah, oh, they're there. Hey, guys! Clovis set me up, didn't he? And he used my boss to do it. At DNA and here is on table. Yes, deep. Hey, yo, stop. Oh, I am in luck. <laughs> Where'd that other guy go? Just wanted to know. I'm just exploring everything. Sorry. Don't mind me. What's this? They just left it here on the table. Why? Why? Okay. Well, hey, stop! No oh, shit. You didn't see me! Go! Oh, what are you doing? Okay. I'm safe. Uh, I guess I got it. I think I got what you wanted from Tyrell's office. Check it out, bro. The little man with the big gun did good. A bargain's a bargain. You said you'd give me Guza. It's all right here. Your boss is a real piece of work, let me tell you. Almost as good as Tyrell. Take a look. That probably had something to do with you guys getting fired. Guza had his fingers in as many rancid pies as possible. He was insatiable. He sold police equipment, ripped off criminals, and he even killed. And here were documents that proved it all. Depositions, photographs, video discs. It was the complete file on Guza, the dirty cop. Where'd you get this? From Clovis. He told us to hold it for him. Come to think of it, I'm not sure you're supposed to see it. You want to give it back now? Not a chance. Let him have it. Clovis said he was finished with the policeman anyway. Mm, okay, then. Stick around. I may not be finished with you. I'll go back to the sewers. Uh, I shouldn't know. Mm. Gosh, why are you moving like that? <laughs> they had a phone too. I was gonna go back to nightclub bro and try to call Guza from over there. But they also have a phone and I don't really wanna go back up there, but fine, whatever. Shut up. Please stop. Okay. I've gotten all I can from that. Where's the phone? Oh yeah, this one. Yeah. 
Been messing with people's lives lately? McCoy, where the hell you been? We've been looking all over for you. Yeah? Am I wanted dead or alive? You don't know what you are, kid. You can sell that replicant shit to everybody else, but I ain't buying. If you're so clean, let's put you on the machine. That'll decide once and for all. I'm through listening, Guza. Now it's your turn. I've been doing some investigating on my own. Came across some prime sources. You know what I'm talking about. Those little illegal weapons deals with Ezo. You were raking in the chinion, selling LPD wares to scumbags and reps. Oh, yeah. The department's gonna eat it up when they hear just how deep that corruption goes. That's a load of crap. Let's hope for your sake Bryant and the brass feel that way when I lay this file on them. Otherwise, it's a one-way ticket to the off-world penal colony, fat man. What do you want, McCoy? Remove the frame, clear my name, and get that guy out of my apartment. I want my life back. I can't do that. You better start finding a way, because I got another call to make. Okay, okay. How do we work this out? We can't talk over the damn phone. The sewers. I know you want to be comfortable, and I figure it's kind of like your second home down there. At the bottom of the old elevator, there's a gate. Past it, there's a chamber. It's got a round platform. Yeah, I know it. Be there, alone. And you better hold up your end, or Bryant gets it all. All right, I knew it. It's our final showdown place. I've gotten all I can from that. Let's go. Final shot. Shut down with this Batman. There you are. Did you get that asshole out of my apartment? It's cleaner than when you left it. My dog? Yeah, yeah, your pooch is there too. That everything I need to clear me? I gotta tell you, kid. Those insect photos look pretty real. Let me guess. Clovis gave them to you. It must seem pretty gullible, but he sounded on the level. He called you his brother. Said you came down in the moon bus with all of them. He said Tyrell was using you to get inside the LPD. You hadn't been on the job too long, so I thought, maybe. You'd screw with my head? How convenient. You can satisfy your blackmailer and keep me from sniffing around your dirty work at the same time. You're too smart for me, kid. Water under the bridge. You ready to talk trade? I got it all right here. Photos, files, disks, the works. It ain't a pretty sight. You can't blame a guy for trying to better himself. Trying is one thing. Ripping off speed loaders and selling the shit yourself? Farming out LPD weapons through black marketeers? Torching two pimps who wouldn't pay you off when you were working vice? Hey, those two had it coming. How long did you think it could last? finally reaches the point where you don't even think about what happened yesterday. Only what's coming to you tomorrow. Twenty years in the job, kid, and nobody was gonna touch me. Helping reps also part of the job? I was gonna whack them myself once the heat was up. Tie up those loose ends. Once I was out of the way. Clovis is still gonna come gunning for me, kid. You and Chris gotta take him down. Then my problems are over. Our problems are over. And we can all live happily ever after. There's no way I'm retiring another rep. Not after what I've been through. It ain't worth it. Do it yourself. Hell, kid, you're my only hope. If they knew I was meeting you, I'd be dead already. And I know I got what you want. Does it make any difference now? We had a deal, remember? You might want to give it up, but I ain't ready yet. 
That's the difference between you and me. I'm a fighter. What the hell are you? I see we were right to follow him, Sadiq. Looks that way, man. You might as well give it up, Clovis. You and your people don't have a chance. We stand a greater chance of success than you, Lieutenant. McCoy and I were just talking about how to get you guys out of your jam. We came up with a plan. But you gotta show yourself first. We, we gotta do this in person. <laughs> and if I told you that Sadiq has a pulse rifle trained right at your heart? Without me, you for sure ain't going nowhere. Lieutenant, we have everything we need. And that does include you. Too bad for becoming such good friends. Whatever is born of mortal birth must be consumed with the earth. To rise from generation free. Then what have I to do with thee? Kiss my ass! So, what shall we do with this detective? He's been so persistent, so industrious. You know what I would do. Perhaps you're right. It's over. Ah! Ow. Dang it. Maybe I should have shot him. I see we were right to follow him, Sadiq. Looks that way, man. You might as well give it up, Clovis. You and your people don't have a chance. We stand a greater chance of success than you, Lieutenant. McCoy and I were just talking about how to get you guys out of your jam. We came up with a plan. But you gotta show yourself first. We, we gotta do this in person. Who the hell do you think you're getting, McCoy? You're gonna fry! Hunter, he do us a favor, man. He bagged us a traitor. Brother, you've killed a human. There's no going back now. Come out and show yourselves. First things first. You must decide where you belong, brother. Stop calling me that. You've wasted much precious time already. No more choices, Ray McCoy. Meet us at the moon bus. Together we will face the tigers and wait in the night forest. I got them off my back for now. I saw this right here. I don't know what this is. Like the lower left. What is this? Is that them? Or is that a cop? It's, it's moving. Do you see that? Not lower left. Lower right. I, I, I don't know my left or my right either. I killed a human! Upsie doopsie. I want to be like this guy. He just doesn't care. <laughs> and killed that man father. Right. Oh, not this again! <laughs> Thought it was safe, but no. Oh, it okay. All right, all right, a bait, a bait, a bait. Stick around. I may not be finished with you. I killed Guza. Just, just, just thought you should know. I killed him. Okay, bye. See ya, buddy. I need to get home to Maggie. Are these like mutants or something? From the sewers? That's weird. Excuse me.
Tough day, McCoy. You could say that. Steele is looking for you. And Brian. You've been keeping the whole department hopping, you and Guza. I know. You looking for me too, Gaff? Looking, not killing. I'm in a good mood today. You know you got some interesting neighbors, McCoy. Yeah, well, I've been too busy to visit lately. You gonna turn yourself in? I'm thinking about it. Think hard. You killed anyone yet? It's like I said before, you retire a human, your career is over. Your life too, maybe. But we don't live forever, do we? <laughs> so I say, well, you should have voted for him then. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very funny, yes. Governor. Let's get down to business. At last estimate, five billion tons of kipple surround this city. Eventually, it's going to have to be cleared away. Elgin, we've got specials to do that job. But the attrition rate is enormous. No, no. There's only one way it can be accomplished. My way. Unfortunately, your way is illegal. For the moment, yes. But laws can be changed. And if replicants were allowed to work on Earth, imagine what your legacy would be. Governor Maurice Colvig, the national hero who eliminated toxic debris. <laughs> Even your opponents will vote for you. How can you possibly guarantee that no tragedies will occur? It's a very simple solution to an old design challenge. Give them jobs on Earth, and they will never desire a different life. That is a lie. Who's there? <laughs> it's one of my children, I think, and a very resourceful one at that. Why don't you show yourself? With pleasure. Call security. Who is this man? I'd like to ask the same question. One more word from him, and he'll be dead. I will not be spoken to! <laughs> You're certainly a man of your word. I want all the data you have on replicant DNA structures, the mutation studies, everything. Why don't you just take a seat? We'll have a little talk. I don't have time for talk. I wish I could help you. I really do. But the data is useless. Four-year lifespan is unalterable. My friends, my family, dying before my very eyes. And all you can say is, there is no hope. Time is precious, my son. And you have been keeping yours well. And when night comes, I'll go to place fit for woe. Walking along the darkened valley with silent melancholy. <laughs> Not exactly the conclusion I had in mind. Have you stationed guards in the mezzanine? Yes, sir, but I mean, after that fall. Oh, don't be a fool. He's not dead yet. His time hasn't come. Oh, God. No. No! She'd been shot once in the head. At least she died fast. My baby! What the fuck? What is a cigarette? It wasn't any mystery. And if I'd gotten home a few minutes earlier, it would have been me down there on the killing floor. No, it was a message, plain and simple. Crystal was giving me one last chance to disappear. But now I had a little message of my own to deliver. You fucking bitch, I knew... Oh, I knew not to like you. I, I, oh, ooh, ooh. It's on TV first. Violent street crime in the city rose again oh. last year by a walk. Pick up. I, I didn't think you were going to answer. Sorry, but I, I was just sleeping. What's going on? Father wants to meet you. He said he's sorry about everything he did, but he was afraid you'd leave the other hunter to them. Where is he now? Out in the Kipple, by the moon bus. Way out, where the tunnel ends. Tell him to stay where he is, until I can find a way for all of us to escape. But... 
I thought we were going away together. Just you and me. Maybe we'll do it after I talk to him. You promise? We could buy a car from that place next to the arcade. A ground car wouldn't get us too far. One of those flying cars would, though. It could take us all the way out to that beautiful lake. You know, the one with the trees and the flowers. Lucy, there's a good chance... I'll meet you there, okay? At the place where he sells the cars. Wait, Lucy... Oh, I love you so much, Ray. I know we're both replicants, but this is still kind of weak. Is there a Lolita model where, like, we look supposed to look 14? I don't know about that. So I don't think I could sleep. Been my baby dead in the next room. <laughs> You heard me. Portrait of the sleep deprived. Oh, I can still sleep. Interesting. <laughs> well. 